Hello, it's Crafty Carol here with another little video for you. Um, I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I love playing with the Stamping Up stuff. I'm based in Northern Ireland. My website, craftycarolscards.co.uk. Please pop along over there to see more about me. So today I want to show you how to make a very simple pop-up card. And instead of a card to show you, I'm going to show you a picture first because I was asked to make a card for a friend, for her grandson, and he loves fish. So I made a pop-up card, which when you opened it, had a fish that opened its mouth um, and uh, there was a congratulations in there. So I haven't got that card to show you, so I had to just show you the picture. But I have made a couple more pop-up cards. And um, this is the first one I've made using the lovely um, piggy set. It's not, is it? Oh, it is here. This birthday piggy, here it is. This birthday piggy set, which includes the dies, some lovely pictures on that one. So I've used them on the front there. Just very simple front uh, coloured in picture. It's your birthday. And inside we have a piggy open, it's opening its mouth. So I hope you can see, have I got it angled so you can see the snout on it? So I've got a piggy snout. Um, if you open it right up, you can see the snout there. And inside, I've just got a little picture of a piggy sleeping um, and I've added the sentiment, go to your happy place and stay there all day. Hope it's the best, so a birthday card, piggy birthday card for a friend. Then um, the other one I did, I used the Adorable Owl set. This is a set that is free in celebration. So if you buy a bundle, most of the bundles will also give you a free um, uh, an element from celebration. So Adorable Owls, I understand, is one of the most... Um, is, is one of the most liked ones from Celebration. I certainly loved it. It was the first one on my list. Um, so I've used that um, set to make this pop-up card. Uh, again, just a very simple front with a, a stamped background. And then this time I've got an owl with his beak just like that. And inside it says, hope it's the best hoot hoot. So I thought I'd show you how to make a really simple pop-up card. So I'm going back to my fish theme, um, just to make a slightly different one. So to make the card, you need a card base. So this is my just ordinary basic white card base, the normal size, width of A4, 21 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres tall. Uh, scored in the middle of the long side at 10 and a half centimetres. So that is my card base. I've already made a card front for it. Um, and this is going to be another birthday card and I've just stamped it's your birthday, which is actually from the uh, this birthday piggy set. Um, it's your birthday. And I've made some fish using some punches. And this is really to show you some punch art as well, I suppose. Um, I've used these, are, some of these are retired punches. I've used this bow punch, this lemon punch, and this one. And I can't actually even remember which set this was from. I think it was from um, a flower. Um, oh, I can't remember now, but I think it was one that had sort of little uh, cute faces, rabbit faces and fish faces and things. So I've used these punches just to make the fish. So if I leave them there so you can just see the, see the punches above. So um, I've used this one, for example, to make these green fish. I've used these as the bodies and this bit as the, and cut that and stuck it up behind as the fins. Um, I also made fish out of these. I used these two. So I've used that one for the tails and I used that for the body and just trimmed it at the front to make a point. And then I used this one, just trimming round one of the curvy ends of the lemon, um, leaving the other one and using the two sort of leaves I think they are for the lemon but I've used those as the tails there and then I've just drawn on with my um, stamping blends black and um, I've just drawn, drawn eyes and mouth on all the fish and I've stuck this on the in colour glimmer card um, which is just beautiful there's a whole set in all of the colours so that's very quickly how I've done some punch art to make my fish and I'm also going to use some of my punch art for the centre as well so for the centre of the card, you need another um, piece of card. And I've trimmed this slightly smaller so that when it fits into the card, there is a little bit of a, an edge around it. There we go. Uh, you can probably just see that. So I've trimmed this to 14.3 by 20, scored at 10. OK, so 20 this way, scored at 10 um, and 14.3 uh, up. So that just gives you a little little rib all the way round. 
So this is the, the bit of the card we're going to make the pop-up bit with. So I've got a centre fold. These are all the bits I'm going to use to make my fish. And I'm going to use um, a cut of one and a half inches. And I'm going to use my trimmer to do it. And I'll show you how. So the first thing, work out roughly where you want your fish to be. And I have already cut out some pieces. So I've got a tail and I've got uh, the actual body that's going to be the mouth itself, which I want about there. So that's roughly where I want to put my cut. So you want to work that out slightly and um, work it out around. So the first thing I am going to do, get my trimmer over here, is I'm going to make a cut here and I want it to be uh, one and a half centimetres uh, each side. So huh, go the wrong way, let me put the card there so I can see my mark. So I'm going to place the mark up into the tram line, if you like, the little cutting channel in my trimmer. And then making sure I've got my cutting blade. You can do this with scissors and mark it if you want. So you want to mark it one and a half centimetres down, which I can use my trimmer to do this. One and a half means I need to go to there. So I can use a pencil just in there to make my little dot. So I can either do that with scissors or I can do it with my trimmer. Remembering that the center of the trimmer blade has a line on it, which you can line up with the cutting bit. So I can cut down and make that level with one and a half centimeters there. Okay, so that is your first cut. Once you have that cut, you need to then score one and a half centimeters up either side here. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my ruler and if I place that in the centre here at one and a half centimetres so my one and a half centimetre mark is on the line then I can mark it down here one and a half which is um, just to the start the naught and then up one and a half which is to the three so that gives me my two marks we can rub those out later then bringing my trimmer back in making sure I've got my cutting blade well out of the way. <laughs> I can then line this up and the easiest way to line it up is just to look through here. So if I place it down, can you see that I've got, you can see here, it's my pointy tool to show you, I have my little pencil mark here and I have the end of my cut there. So I need to make my score line between those two marks. So again, I can bring this down to the start of the cut and bring it down to the score, to my, to my mark. Okay, can you see that score line? Then I need to repeat that on each side. So I'll turn that round, make sure that both my marks are in here, then score between the two. So that gives me this side and then I need to do the same on the other side. So again, just using, looking down my trimmer cutting area so I can make sure my two points are lined up and I bring my scoring tool down and score between the two. And then finally, the fourth side. Oh. So roughly line it up, then make sure it's lined up there and then scoring between the two. So that then gives you, that's all my scoring, all I need to do. So can you see I have the four score lines and I have my cut bit in the middle. So now it's about folding it. So I'm going to push those, that um, original, in, inside that original slit and just gently encourage my card to fold on those score lines. And then fold it over. We want it to go the other way because that's the, the back of it. So I want it to go this way into my card. So encourage it up and then fold over your card like this. Oop, encourage you up there. So just a little bit fiddly to make sure this lies straight, especially at the top there. There we go. So folding it over and then giving it a really good crease down. So it's like that. And there we have our opening mouth. Okay. 
So then it's a matter of decorating it. So me you can measure this score line and I know that it's actually two and an eighth. So I've got my cut out my square of patterned paper uh, to be two and an eighth. And I've cut out this actually to make the tail. I decided I liked this and I, that'll be stuck on there. This is actually using the old umbrella punch. So I've used the umbrella punch there and I've cut two of the closed umbrellas, if you like, because I thought they would make rather nice fins. So I've got those as my fins, which I'll probably stick on first because I want them to be behind here. And then I have, make sure it's the right way around, I have my tail there. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold my tail in half like that because I want to make sure the bend is in there. Oop. If you can hear a scratching at the door, I think that's my dog <laughs> who's just come home because I want it to bend obviously in the right place there. So that's going to be stuck at the top. So I'm just going to put, I'll use a little bit of Tombow. <clears throat> Tombow's drying up here. Where are we? There we go. And that is going to just stick right at the top there. Then for this center piece, I'm actually going to cut it across. So just bringing my trimmer back in. Again, I can use my channel to line it up corner to corner. Now a little tip here, if you're cutting like this somewhere with a point, always start your cutting blade right in the centre. Make sure it's fully lined up. Start it in the centre, go up and then down and then you don't damage the corners. So those are my two top and bottom bits. So again, this time I'm going to fold them this way because that's the way those bends are going to go. So carefully fold it in half. So it's going to bend the right way. So that is my first piece. Holding my second piece in half in the same way. And that forms my bottom piece. And then it's just a matter of sticking them on. So I'll quickly do that. And then we can just refold the card in the same way as we did before, just to make sure everything's folding the right way. And there we have our opening fish. So all that remains to do, or just hold that down, it's not quite sticking yet. There we go. You can see how we've made the fish there, yeah. Give your glue a chance to dry, folks. And then I need my um, Knight of Navy. You can either use this to draw those, or I do have um, some old circle punches, which I'm actually going to use to make the eyes or draw them on with your basic black. But if you've got some small circle punches, let me just find a scrap. Here we go, a little scrap of basic white. So I will punch out two circles with the larger punch and then a piece of basic black just two whoops two small circles there and I can use those to make my eyes so two options for coloring eyes you can either in fact I'm going to put the little dot on the white because I think it'll be easier these are fiddly little things. So it's one eye and a second eye and then I can stick those onto my fish. Now it's up to you how much you want to decorate the inside of the card. Um, I personally haven't put too much on here. In the first one I did, because I did it as an A5 size, um, so it's a slightly bigger fish, if you like, the one I showed you the picture of here, I actually did put some um, the seaweed stamp from the Friends RC Shells stamp set and a few shells around the bottom. 
up to you if you want to do that or not to finish the card. Um, and then it simply remains to stick it in to the main card. And the only other thing I need to warn you about is when you are sticking it in, do not put any glue around this center part that you've cut out or keep your glue right round the edge, okay? So all of that bit can be glued and on the same side, all of this bit can be glued. So I'll show you how I stick it in to make sure it works properly. So put some glue on like that. Be really careful not to put glue on those bits. And then I can hold it closed, put my creases to the center crease there. There we are. And then shut the card over it. Press it down, there we go. And there is my little, really simple pop-up card with my fish. Now, I could, if I wanted, I could actually have stamped in there, I haven't done. If you want to do that, the best way to do it is use a pencil and just with the card there, just make a little mark. I'm not going to do it because I went, oh, I have done it by mistake. <laughs> make a little mark, I'll put it in there now. Make a little mark across there um, and then you can stamp in that area if you want to put something in the centre of the stamp. I'm going to have an awkward go getting my rubber in there, but I'm sure I'll manage just to get that out. I've decided not to stamp in this one this time. As you could see from my other cards, I have stamped for that one. I've actually stamped an image inside my pig and in this one, I've just stamped the hoot hoot, hope it's the best. This one I did slightly differently. I've cut it down here and just put two bends on because I wanted a beak that was opening one way rather than two. But for the piggy, I've done it in exactly the same way, but this time I've cut it longer that way and not so tall that way because I just wanted the mouth bit to be the snout. So you can fiddle around and do what you want. This is the simplest one just to make a square. Makes a lovely fish. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, having a coughing fit. Um, um, you could bake any animal you want just by decorating the outside a bit differently. I did think about doing a lion or a monkey or something like that. Um, but I just wanted to show you this, just to show you the principle of how to do it. And then I simply need to stick my um, fishes on the front that I've already prepared. And there's my card. You'll notice, although I've had I've got a couple of fishes up on dimensionals, be careful not to put too much dimension on the front of these cards because the um, amount inside with the with the um, pop-up bit inside, it already adds depth to the card. So you don't want them to be ooh, fingers and thumbs today. You don't want them to be um, too you don't want to have too much dimension on the front because it'll make the card super thick. I'll just hold that on there, make sure it's stuck down. It's glitter paper, so I'm always a bit more careful with the glitter paper. The fishes are cut out of the glitter paper, by the way, as well, so you can see. And I just sort of curved, curved the sentiment. So there is my fish birthday card. I may go on and put some else there. It looks a bit empty I might put some shells on there from my um, friends of sea set, seashells set we shall see anyway I hope you enjoyed that I hope you have a go at making some of these fun pop-up cards They're a little bit difficult to show I can't just leave them lying I'll have to keep a finger by them so you can see them but I hope you have um, a go at these because they are fun to make um, you can play around as I say you can see the three different shapes I've made in this one but I'd love to see anything you make in future Please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more from me. I am going to be going live um, on YouTube as from February. So if you subscribe, you should get notification of that. Um, and also check out my website if you want the full instructions for these cards. Uh, they will be on the website as well. So you'll see how to make these cards. So um, pop over there too. You can sign up for my emails and then you'll know when I'm going live and when I'm running classes and things. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.